MeSH stands for Medical Subject Headings, and it's a set of controlled vocabulary used for indexing PubMed citations. In order to explain how MeSH works, let's take a minute to consider the hashtag. Hashtags are used on social media websites, like Twitter and Instagram, to identify messages on a specific topic and to give context to a post. I found this picture of the Pillsbury Doughboy float on Instagram. From the picture in the caption, I can see that this was taken at the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. The hashtags tell me more information about the picture, such as where it was taken, other floats in the parade, and the camera and photo editing software that was used. While this picture is worth a thousand words, the hashtags provide more context about the picture. MeSH terms are used to give better context to the articles in PubMed Medline. When searching PubMed, you are searching the article citation information in the abstract of the article, not the full text. An abstract should be a summary of all the important information in an article, but an abstract has a limited word count and can't contain all the topics from the article. MeSH terms should let you know about any other therapies, diagnostic tests, diseases, information about the article's subjects, and themes that are discussed in the article, whether or not they appear in the abstract. Here are a few things to note about MeSH. MeSH provides a consistent way to describe topics. For instance, authors are not always consistent with disease or drug names. One example is Crohn's disease. A MeSH term of Crohn's disease can be used to search for various spelling variations or different names for this disease. Also, certain themes may be expressed in an article that may be hard to describe with keyword searching. For instance, an author may write an article that contains a theme of unnecessary procedures without having used these words in the article. Tagging an article with the MeSH heading Unnecessary Procedures lets us search on this theme. MeSH uses a hierarchical structure that permits searching at various levels of specificity. For instance, the MeSH term otitis falls under ear diseases, and there are more specific cases of otitis inflammation listed underneath. When I search the term otitis, I'm not only searching articles tagged with this subject heading, I'm also searching articles tagged with more specific subject headings. MeSH terms are applied by subject specialists, or people, who scan the articles to determine the best subject headings to apply to it. We rely on librarians and subject specialists to apply MeSH terms because of the subtleties of language. For instance, a software program may not be able to tell the difference between a tear or a tear. Also, it may be tricky for a software program to understand an abstract theme of an article. Because MeSH terms are applied by people, there's a bit of a lag between when an article shows up in PubMed and when the MeSH terms are applied. Articles that are tagged with MeSH terms are considered to be indexed for Medline. The newest articles in PubMed may not yet be indexed for Medline. I'm going to finish with three tips on how to identify MeSH terms. First, you can find a relevant article that has been indexed for Medline and see what terms it has been tagged with. If you find relevant articles in Google Scholar or another database, search for that article in PubMed and look at its MeSH terms. You can also search the MeSH database directly. Switch from PubMed to MeSH and search for your terms. When you search within the MeSH database, you can see the MeSH records, and this includes a definition of the term, and it shows the hierarchy. Finally, view your search details to see how PubMed mapped your search terms. Search details show up on the right side of the screen when you are using the most recent sort. When PubMed processes your search, it does its best to map your search terms to a relevant MeSH heading. If a heading is found, PubMed will not only search on your keywords, it will also search the MeSH terms. To learn more about MeSH, I recommend reviewing the National Library of Medicine's MeSH Tutorial. Find it by searching MeSH Tutorial NLM.